Ooh, ooh. Know what time it is? Time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder I'm Kai, and today I'm doing the limbo! I tried to do it at a birthday party last week, and I knocked the bar right off. So I'm gonna practice and get better. To do the limbo first, you have to put a bar up like this. Then you need fun music. Music player, Melody. Yes, Kai. Please play limbo music. Playing limbo music. Then you walk under the bar without knocking it down. Everyone take a deep breath with me. Ready? Here goes. Do you think I can put the bar lower? Shout yes if you think I should go lower. Okay, let's try it. Here I go. Whew, that was close. Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who, who? Doing the limbo, are you? I am, Ollie. I walked under the bar two times without knocking it down. That's some fancy walking. It's true. I know someone else who took an amazing walk, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Yep, that's going to be a problem. Oh, hola friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. Look at this. There's a hole in my toy boat. If I put this in the water, it would sink. Which reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? Oh, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with... Jesus. <laughs> While Jesus was here on earth, he did things to show us how much God loves us how God hears us when we pray, and how God is always with us. And we can always trust God. Today's story is about a time when Jesus showed his friend Peter that he can trust God. And it begins with a boat on the water at night. Jesus' friends were out on the water when all of a sudden, they saw something they had never seen before. They saw a person walking on water. Everyone say, what? Ready? What? Who can walk on the water? Well, the person got closer and closer and closer, the disciples were so afraid. <laughs> Show me your afraid face. <laughs> yes. And then, all of a sudden, the person said, it's me, don't be afraid. 
It was Jesus. <laughs> right away, Peter said, Jesus, if it's you, tell me to walk to you on the water. And Jesus said, come. Peter stepped out of the boat. And guess what? Peter started walking on the water too. But then Peter looked around and saw the wind. <gasps> he got scared and started to sink. But Jesus reached out and caught him so he wouldn't sink. Then they got back in the boat together. <laughs> Jesus showed Peter and the disciples that we can always trust God, even when scary things happen. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. See you next time. <laughs> so there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus showed Peter how to trust God. And we can trust God, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow. Jesus showed Peter how to trust God when he stepped out of the boat and walked on water. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I'm going to keep walking under this limbo stick. Melody, let's limbo! I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi, kids! All right, Noel and I are here with you, and we have a fun game that we're going to show you that's on your game today for your parent cue, but first we're gonna go over our story. Did you guys like the story? Who was in our story today? Jesus. Jesus was, and he had friends that were out on the boat, remember? And when they saw him, were they, did they realize it was him or were they scared? They were scared. They were scared. Where's your scared face? <gasps> yes, and Peter said, what did he say to do? Did he say, Jesus, if it's you, do jumping jacks? or swim, or dance, or what did he say to do? Do you remember? Have oh, walk me... on the water. Walk on water, that's right. And so Peter did, but then he started to do what when he got scared? What did he start to the do? The was blowing, he, he was down in the water, but Jesus saved him. He did. Do you guys ever feel like that? Like. Oh man, things are so hard and so rough. I know as a mom I do. Maybe if things are just getting too much and there's too much going on, and then Jesus can save us. Isn't that awesome? All right, just like Jesus, Jesus saved Peter, right? Jesus saved Peter, and then he was with his friends on the boat. So today, with the help of a parent, you're gonna print this out. Remember, it has our Bible verse on it. So let's do our Bible verse. Are you guys ready? To get your Bibles. All right, open them up to Matthew 14. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not our Bible verse. That's our story from today is in Matthew 14, 22 to 23. Our Bible verse is in Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord. Oh, all your heart, right? All your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Okay, and then the game we're going to play today is called Sink or Float. I'm going to move you guys down. So we have a bowl of water. And, and some stuff. Some items. So I'm going to have you guys guess when Noel puts these on here if it's going to sink or float. All right, Noel. It's all you, you. Which one are you going to do first? We may have played a little bit of this already. We might have some. Of course. What do you kids think is going to happen? Do you think I it will sink or float? Think it will sink. You do? Yeah. It sunk. Here, 
we'll take it out. It almost actually, it kind of went halfway because it got stuck, right? Oh, what about Ariel? Ariel likes I to swim. I just mean sink. You think sink? Yeah. Right. Oh, her feet are floating. Look at that, her feet are floating. She's top heavy. All right, what about sink? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi kids, all right, we were in the middle of doing our sink and float and we lost you, but we're back. And we were getting ready yeah. to eat our chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do we think it will sink or float? What do you guys think? There's some other things in here that I snuck in. <laughs> sink or float? Ah. It floated. Um, ah, I think it floated. All right, That's now we have so a magnifying glass. My eye big. Ooh. All right, let's see. There is more stuff in here. There is more stuff. You want to take that out? Sink or float? I'm guessing float. Float. Yay. It floated. All right, and what about a bracelet? Sink or float? Sink. It did. It soaked up all that water. And we have one more thing. That we're gonna put in there. Sink or float? A piece of bread. What do you think? It's a bread. It's not a real piece of bread. It's a plastic piece of bread. It floated. It's like a boat. All right, kids. So the awesome thing about our story today is that we can think of. Isn't it interesting? The things what? that sunk and the things that float. Oh. And like who was walking on water? Do you remember? Do you guys remember who walked on water? Jesus. Jesus did. And Peter. And then Peter started See? to sink. But then I what did he do? I'm gonna pretend this is Peter trusted Jesus, Jesus. and then he could walk on water. This is Jesus. Oh. And Jesus did what? Walked on water. All right, kids, who can trust Jesus? That's right, you Jesus. can. I can, and you can. We can mm. trust Jesus. All right, have a good day, kids. We can't wait to hear how you like this activity. Let us know what you found out that would sink or float. All right. Bye.